It's unclear whether Ella ran away or simply aged out of the reform school. But still a teenager, she ended up back on the streets of Harlem during the blossoming of the Jazz Age. And Harlem was the mecca. It was the most liveliest place in the world that went on seven nights a week. There weren't many places you could go to the swing scene, at least not, not for us, because of segregation. So the bands came there, the singers came there, the dancers came there. It was all in one area. Jazz at that time was the dance music of the day. You might get a dance beat, and you could also get Coleman Hawkins. You could get a dance beat, and you could also get the Count Basie Orchestra. People could go out to dance, and they would actually get some art at the same time. Although in the eye of Harlem's jazz hurricane, Ella was homeless, sleeping on the street. For money, she'd sing and dance on corners. I like to dance with people, because everybody thought I was a good dancer. I got the chance to get a little more money from what I was making, which was nothing at that time. Ten cents a dance, that's what they pay me, gosh. She told me about when she had started out on the corner with a few of the girlfriends, and she was young. They would put her on the corner because she was a champion dancer. She would dance, people would give money, then the That's older girls would take all the money and run away. Pansies and rough guys, tough guys who tear my gowns. She's basically a wannabe talent who has absolutely nothing. She's virtually a street urchin. Seeking a way out of street life, in November 1934, Ella was one of the hopefuls of the Harlem Apollo Amateur Night. I really went on to try to be a dancer. That's how I went on an amateur contest. But uh, when I got on the stage and I saw all these people, I lost my nerve. She was going to get on the stage and dance. And Ella was the first one that, was, that they called. And she got out on the stage and she was scared to death. We saw her the first time she ever walked on stage. And ladies and gentlemen, Miss Ella Fitzgerald. And when she came on, she wasn't that attractive. I mean, she wasn't well dressed. I mean, she was a kid that from the street, we couldn't believe what we were looking at. How dare she come on this stage? So we booed her, boom. <laughs> She didn't know what to do, and somebody said, what are you going to do? What's she going to do? And she started singing. When his eyes say yes, and you're wrong in your guess, that's Judy, my Judy. At that time, I didn't even know one key from the other. I just sang, and I won first prize. Then I went back trying to win more amateur contests. After her triumph at the Apollo, Ella was back on the streets. But she was about to get her big break with one of the most popular bands on the Harlem scene, the Chick Webb Orchestra. <laughs> 